nervous spot of the year, every year, at the gathering of the Juggalos, it's always about the ICP seminar that, that we're most nervous. All, all year, nothing makes me nervous. And maybe, maybe a fucking doctor's appointment, or fucking triple root canal, or something like that, but uh, nothing makes me nervous like the ICP seminar, because I feel like, and I say this every year, but I'll say it again, I feel like we are standing before the elite of today's Juggalo world. The Juggalos of the Gathering of the Juggalos are definitely the elite of the Juggalo world. You know what I'm saying? In 2014. I'm wearing these pants, these shorts, they could fall down at any second, revealing my sexy legs. We ain't got no drawstrings in them, no drawstrings. The drawstring ain't working, I keep on having to pull them up over my butt, you know what I'm saying? When you hey, don't wear drawers, so you might see some nuts. <laughs> I'll spare you from my nuts, I got some boxer briefs on, so... Check it out, y'all. The notes. Oh! This year, this year, they're on some extra special. Notes. One, one lucky ninja or ninja will leave with the precious notes today. Yo, and the benefits are if you get the notes. You can also eat off of them. That's right, because they're written on a plate. You can get a stoner bowl, you can get a stoner bowl and dump it onto the notes plate. <laughs> what else? Yo, hold on, hold on. Who fucked up one of those stoner bowls so far, man? Yo, if you ain't eat those if you ain't eat them yet, man, those shits are the best fucking thing in this whole place, dog. The stoner bowls, forget about it. Good. What else would be in my trailer to write on other than a plate? You know what I'm saying? Of course, there's plenty of plates in my trailer. I keep a big supply of plates. <laughs> I always need a plate nearby. First thing I want to talk about is sight. You, you can't read my, my chicken scratch. Uh, I think I'm the only one that can't read your writing. <laughs> um, I want to talk about Psychopathic Records. You know, we had, a, we had about 15 employees for a long time, you know what I'm saying? But we scaled down a great deal. We did some switching, some rehiring. And uh, we totally re-renovated the company, you know what I'm saying? And there was a lot of, a lot of bullshit. I hate to say this, but there was some bullshit within the company we had to get rid of and everything. A lot of slacking, a lot of backstabbing, a lot of bullshit. But uh, we got everything fixed now. We're very fucking proud of Psychopathic, man. We're very fucking proud. Everybody there, everybody at the company really wants to be at the company. They're fucking hard workers, they're dedicated, and they're all juggalos. There's, there's nobody that's hired at the company just for their professional skills, and then has to be taught and informed on the ways of the juggalo. No, everybody at the company comes from the juggalo brethren, so we're very fucking proud of that, man. That's right, it's family. Family, 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 family. It truly is. Good question. Gathering on a cruise ship. Should we have the gathering of the juggalos on a cruise ship? Just could afford a fucking cruise. I've never been on a fucking cruise. Yo, how's that go? 
Because if we ever do the gathering on a cruise ship, they're going to be mad fucking lifeboats. Because you know, niggas going to be like, Oh shit, he fell! You fucked up! You fucked up! You fucked up! You fucked up! He's all drowning and shit! Ah, hell! You fucked up! Mad ninjas going overboard. Ninjas trying to surf behind the cruise ship. You never know, we just might have something. I don't think we would actually have the gathering on a cruise ship, but we have had serious talks about a juggalo cruise. We wouldn't we wouldn't force Everybody there on a, making it a gathering, cause you know not everybody can afford a fucking 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 cruise ship ticket. How much does a cruise even cost? That's what I'm saying. Who here's been on a cruise before? Who been on a cruise? Look at all those fish like kids. Five people. <laughs> we don't know shit about cruises. I got a cruise in my car. It's about it. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Two Tough Tony was on a cruise. Oh yeah, he was. You're guilty. Well, he said it was mad cheap. He got the welfare cruise. It was a pontoon in a pond. It was a fishing cruise. It was like one of those half speedball, half pontoon deals. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he spent a week on a pontoon in a pond. No doubt fishing the whole fucking time. With a trolling motor. To the notes. First of all, we just released a brand new Dark Lotus album. People speculate on the way that album was recorded. We want everybody to know that we recorded that together with Twisted in the studio. We spent a couple weeks with them together. We all sat down together, we all wrote together. We all chilled together, recorded that bitch from top to bottom together. You know what I'm saying? Together. There was no, none of this send us the tracks and we'll rap on them and send them back and all that. No, we did it all together, officially, family style. is a very fucking awesome product coming out on Psychopathic Records. And that is the first six Joker card box set. Finally, after years and years, we got rights to our own fucking records from bitch-ass Jive Records, Island Records, all these ho-ass record companies, you know what I'm saying? We finally have the rights to put it all out in the box set. And I want to tell you, that I know we we're going to come out with it sooner, but we decided to make it extra fucking fat. The box set is extra dope. First of all, it comes in a big ass box like a fucking pizza box. Family size pizza. Family size pizza. And it comes with a fucking full color booklet inside written by yours truly. That's right, I wrote the I wrote the fucking booklet that tells little tales and stories from each each Joker card era about the recordings of each album, you know what I'm saying? And it also comes with a certificate of authenticity signed by Shaggy and myself, autographed. We don't do autographs, we only do autographs. And it's also got, it's also got six tarot cards in it for each Joker card and it has a fucking EP entitled the House of Wax eight brand new ICP songs recorded exclusively first we were gonna record the EP to release 
it, but then we decided to make the box set extra fucking juicy and scrumptious. Not just a bunch of remixes, not remakes, straight all new material. All brand new songs. We put the box, or we put the House of Wax EP inside the box set. And the only way to get it is to get the fucking box set. So if you want to just to buy the EP, you can go home and cry to your mama because it ain't happening. <laughs> However, you can probably just jack it on the internet the next day, so what are you going to do? Or you can do that. You can download There's always that option. You can fucking download that shit into your phone, you know what I'm But the EP comes out, uh, I mean the uh, box set in its entirety comes out October 28th. Just in time to get spooky for Halloween. So the box set will finally be out October 28th. That's dopeness. All right, on to the notes. This little piece of information is, is pretty fucking dope, especially for you ninjas out there like Too Tough Tony that can afford to take a cruise. This is true. This is not bullshit. In the year 2015, which according to my Gucci watch is next year, Psychopathic Records will be putting on a mini gathering of sorts in the country of Australia. Except that Australia is a continent. Oh, it's a continent? Like, I know the difference between a country and a continent. What the fuck's America, man? What the fuck's the difference? Oh, it, uh, my bad, it's a continent. Just saying. Like, that makes the plane ticket any cheaper. We can take the cruise ship there. <laughs> but we will be putting on a fucking gathering, so if you want to come party with us, with Australian juggalos, start fucking saving up in your fucking piggy banks for that plane ticket. The tickets for the gathering itself in Australia will be nice and cheap because we love you. But the plane ticket, you're on your own. You're on your own. Think about that though, going all the way to fucking Australia and partying. With Australian juggalos? Give one of those extra music go, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> And I bought the one, too! Squirrels with pouches on their necks. You know what I'm saying? What the fuck? Does anybody think that's fresh? That's fucking hard work, man. You can thank Jump Steady for that, man. He's the one already working on it. Already putting it together. Now. It looks like it's going to be outdoors, similar to this gathering, but it just might be indoors. It's very, 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 very hot in Australia. Fucking hot. Hotter than Guatemala. Oh, you've never been to Guatemala? Like I've been to Guatemala or something. I've been to Guatemala. Wait, where's Guatemala? <laughs> You've been to Guatemala, Africa. I where was I? Where was I? Oh, that must have been part of the Shaggy Two Dope Tour. That was my other friend I was with. <laughs> Fucking jokes, come on, man. His bottom lips quivered. He's like. Shaggy has so many fucking friends. They're like his entourage. I don't even know who they fucking are. He shows up for a studio session with like nine ninjas. All rocking Shaggy gear with his like... They're all mean mugging Joe. I go to I, fuck is this motherfucker. I go to I go to Step to Joey and they all step in between like they're like. I 
I gotta tell my people what to tell him, he tells my people what to tell me. That's just how we roll nowadays. <laughs> Sweet, thanks. I got it from Walmart. What are you talking about? He always wears slippers. I work at I paid your paycheck, pal. They were like five ninety nine. Seriously, Why don't you ever fucking tuck your fucking heels in, though, man? Because you can do like this. Move, move. Then why don't you get the kind of slippers without a heel? Why do you always crush the back of those heels? Because you gotta go to special slipper shops to get those ones. <laughs> I go to Walmart. What do you want? <laughs> they cost more. Less material, more money. I, I can't figure it out. Moving down the notes. This is like probably maybe the biggest uh, piece of information that we wanted to spread today right here. Who out there has heard rumors about a possible collaboration with ICP and the Mafia Six? So you've heard. Well, it's official! We have come together to record an album recorded on location in Detroit. And together, ICP and the Mafia Six are known as the Killjoy Club. Ted already, son. The album is fucking insane. And check this out. You don't have to wait till next year. You don't even have to wait till Halloween. This fucking album comes out. You're not even going to believe how close this is. September 2nd. The Killjoy Club entitled Reindeer Games comes out nationwide September 2nd. That's in like fucking 30 days. Somehow I thought everybody was August. Huh? I keep thinking it's August because usually the gathering's in August. Okay, 40 days. No, no, you're right. I'm saying I was fucking up. The Killjoy Club is a devastating album. You don't have to be a Mafia 6 fan to enjoy it. You don't even have to be an ICP fan to enjoy it. But when they come together, the fucking music just grabs you by your fucking skinny Adam's apple and repeatedly punches your face with a 50 pound fist bigger than two tough Tony's hands. Show them your fucking sausages. Look at that. It's like a fucking catcher's mitt. They're like Bart Bratwurst. It's like five fat dicks. He got five porno meats on his hand. September 2nd, the album comes out. The Killjoy Club. It's so fucking dope. I hope you all get it and enjoy it. I want to talk about something else moving down the list here. Next year's Juggalo Day. What are we going to do? Are we going to do another album? Is it going to be the Jekyll Brothers? Or is it going to be moving back and maybe doing the Ringmaster Show? We can do the shorter so I can do dog beats. We can, yes. It may be the dog beat show. Four songs. That's all you get. What up? Peace. Extra, extra expensive tickets for a 14 minute show. That sounds like a good idea to me. The dog beat show. <laughs> Does anybody here remember?
remember the, the ultra rare collector item single entitled Fat Sweaty Betty? Yeah. All right. Well, it's going to be the Fat Sweaty Betty show. What? You can get the original song and the remix, and we're done. <laughs> Same song, different beat. We're going to do a 60-minute rendition of Fat Sweaty Betty. Everybody's like, cool. <laughs> I wanted to ask you about Juggalo Day. We could do another album, of course, you know, like we've been doing. Or, what if we changed up the idea a little bit and instead we picked a location, right? And we did a free concert on Juggalo Day. Wouldn't that be dope? You can spend your ticket money on gas money getting there. And we had a free concert with JCW Wrestling during the day. You know what I'm saying? A big fat lineup of artists. You can party all day for fucking free. Wouldn't that be dope? What should it be? Should it be do another album in concert? Or a big fat free concert? up in the cup holders. That bitch reclines and it's as big as a tour bus. <laughs> Damn. It holds like fucking a case of Fago on each other. You gotta have a trailer just to bring that bitch here. <laughs> wow. And he's not even big. He's like a small ninja in this huge fucking chair. Like a normal size one would swallow you up and you're that motherfucker. <laughs> Don't ever sit with your knees up like that again. You look like a feminine woman. <laughs> all you need now... It's all, it's all hot out. You gotta put a cover on and shit. It's yeah, cold. all you need now is a fucking blanket, motherfucker. Oh, he's got a blanket. Of course. He's got a security blanket. We fucked up. You fucked up. You fucked up. Curled up in a fucking chair with a blanket. It's only 130 out, but he's cold. His 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 feeble bones are chilly. Give him a break. <laughs> Look at this ninja in the smallest chair. The smallest ninja in the biggest chair. What's going on? <laughs> Look at that chair. Somebody's <laughs> clearly missing. It's just a fucking open chair. You got a 500 ninjas standing and there's an open chair right there. What are you doing showing off that raggedy ass chair? <laughs> he fell right through it. I was just going grab that chair, guy. Along the projectable notes, we have news. Does anybody out there enjoy the psychopathic record ciphers? Well, 
even though all the ciphers were released on video DVD as part of Psychopathic Records, the videos volume two, which is extra dope because it's got videos you've never seen before, including the ultra controversial Krayshawn song, which nobody knows about, my secret love crush of Krayshawn, which is totally fake. Does anybody know who Krayshawn is? Not really. Well, I don't really love her, but I made a video about loving her anyway. Right, but he don't really love her. He just made a whole fucking video of himself about it. <laughs> but he doesn't. Anyway, you'll enjoy Psychopathic Records and Video Volume 2 for hours, but I just wanted you to know we have a brand new cipher coming. And this cipher is going to include ninjas that aren't on Psychopathic Records. Ninjas like, let's say, Mad Child. Yeah. Dope, right? Yeah. Other ninjas, we're just gonna invite a bunch of fresh rappers and bring them together for a cypher. And that's coming out very soon, probably released before Halloween even. Just wanted you to know that's on its way. People are yelling sporadic things. I have no idea what any of them are. All I hear is, Habudada! Ito! Ito! Even with the megaphone. Say before you get back to the notes. If you got a laser pointer and you're schooling people's eyes, you're an asshole. Straight up. Especially those super rootless green ones. Fuck your laser pointer. Hey, if you see somebody with a ticket, and break it. Fucking laser pointers. Remember when they just like, they just be like, oh, is that one of them fresh laser pointers? We picked that up. Nah. Let me look at that. And then grab it and stick it in his fucking eye. And then turn that bitch out and fry his brains. Okay, a lot of people want to know, ICP, when are you guys going on tour again? And they want to know, are we coming to this city? Or are we coming to that city? Well, I have news. I have news on the notes. We are leaving on a nationwide tour. And I say nationwide, I mean it. We're going from New York to LA, all the way down to Florida, all through Texas, through the Carolinas, all through the Phoenixes, through the Dakotas, through fucking Montanas, everywhere. We're doing 45 stops. And the tour leaves September 18th, and I even can tell you who's on the tour. First of all, ICP's on the tour. What? Second of all, Mad Child of Swollen Members. Third of all, Mushroom Head. Jelly Roll. Fourth of all, the Mafia Six. And fifth of all, Mushroom Head. It's going to be fucking dope. And we're thinking about calling it Shock Fest. It's going to be a long show. One of those all afternoon shows. There's still bands being added to this tour. So are we coming to town? Fuck yeah, we're coming to town. It leaves in September. It goes all the way to Hollywood in Detroit. You don't want VIP, man. You got it. Now I have to pull my pants up. Yeah, there they go. 
start getting them geek, forget about it. Jaws are coming down. <laughs> Especially when he starts shaking his hips. Your hips, your hips don't work right when you're a fat kid. Believe me, they don't. You have to pull your pants up several times. All right. Now, psychopathic records news. We have a solo record coming out on psychopathic from the one and only DJ Paul of the Mafia Six. Yay! That's awesome! He's the freshest rapper in 3-6 Mafia and he's putting a solo record out on Psychopathic. Yeah! Also, a solo record from Otis, Young Wicked of the Ex-Murder Boys! Yo, straight up, this young man right here has so much fucking talent that don't nobody even know about. Several instruments, sing, rap, produce, engineer, every fucking thing this guy. Give it up for Young Wicked! And he makes many appearances on the Killjoy Club as well. That's right, he's all over the Killjoy Club album, so he give him some fucking love. The young and talented Wicked. Young Wicked! <laughs> he's so young and so wicked. So very, very young and so very, very wicked. He's just young, innocent, and wicked. And handsome. And so handsome. Without his hat, he's so fucking... Look at that. Oh, no, now you got hat in him. He's so handsome. I saw him grow up from a little boy. When we first met him, he was just like 16. Just, you know, nuts hadn't dropped yet, yeah. nothing. Nuts hasn't dropped. Now he's a handsome young man all filled out. He was just a young, innocent boy cuddled up in his big chair with his blanket on. With a blanket when we met him. And now he's a full-grown, young, wicked. Boop, boop. Who gave you a microphone? Somebody snuck it in. Put it back. Put it back. All right, boop, boop. He's so, so young. He's still learning the ropes. He's, he, he's tender. He's still tender. He's so young, he's tender. Come on, everybody, be easy on Young Wicked because he's so young that his feelings are easily hurt. And he's afraid of the dark. But in the daytime, he's extra wicked. But when it gets dark and he's alone, he gets scared. If you see him, just hold him a little bit, but not tight, not tight, because he might cry. The way we advertise him is as young wicked, but in reality, he's young scared. <laughs> young scared and timid. On the microphone, he's a lion, but in real life, he's a fuzzy cub. He's a, in, in real life, he's a furry little fawn. <laughs> Shaky legs trying to stand there like he's a handsome young fawn. Girls, females, juggalettes, is he handsome? Woo! Whoa! I thought he was handsome. Obviously you do. I hit it. Throw it. I'd fuck him, he wouldn't fuck me. There's a difference. Yeah, cause he's so young, wicked, and timid. He doesn't do fuck anybody. He gets fucked. <laughs> Just like in prison. Come on, I would, he'd suck my dick. He would suck my dick. I wouldn't suck his. <laughs> Difference. I will leave you alone now. <laughs> He's so young and wicked and scary. But talent on the asshole. I have one more piece of news on my notes. And that is... We have something free to give all of y'all! What it is, is 
is a fresh CD entitled PSYR 17 and it's a radio station 17 on your dial psychopathic records and what you'll hear on this CD which getting CDs at the gathering is awesome because they're perfect for that long ride home am I right well we're giving all of y'all a free CD what long and, ride? and what's on this CD well there's a new track from the new Dark Lotus there's a track on there from the Killjoy Club. There's a track on there from the new AMB. The Garcia Brothers album. There's a track on there from the new Boondocks. The Abaddon album. There's a track on there from the ultra rare House of Wax EP from the box set. Ain't that dope? And it's all put together by this fresh radio station. It's funny. We did skits. We did commercials. You'll definitely enjoy it. Very it's, fresh. It's a good time for your ride home. Well, I'm just about out of notes. But I do have the notes to give away. Would anybody like today's notes? Such a decision to make. It ain't gonna fly, man. It ain't gonna fly? No, it's a paper plate. It's probably gonna fly right up into this ninja's hands. I'm gonna try to sail it, though. We'll be able to read it anyway, so my chicken scratch. It's his best though, it's his best writing. Maybe if I put one of those stoner buckets on it or whatever it's called. Are you ready? Look at those ninjas way in the back. I'm sure. Like it's just gonna paper plate. It's just gonna sail all the way back to you guys. Everybody's <laughs> reach. He's holding up his shoes. I'm gonna catch him in my shoes. No, I know those shoes. Yeah. That's those bathing ape boys. Those are those bathing apes. Fuck yeah. Yes. They were crispy. Look how dirty those motherfuckers are now. I recognize them all the way from here. The sweet ass tropical bathing apes. All right, here we go. Today's notes. Oh, the shit have flew a little bit. trying to read it. You ain't gonna read shit, guy. <laughs> Look at him, he wasn't even awake. He's reading them. What the fuck is this? <laughs> Hieroglyphics. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, y'all. I hope everybody likes the new grounds that we're having the gathering on. Yeah. You can whoa, thank whoa. Joe Steady. He put this motherfucker together painstakingly night and day. He slept at the office for about a month making it happen. <clears throat> Give Jeff Steady a round of applause. <laughs> Juggalos, we love you. Seriously, as much as love can mean the word love, we love you. Peace and have a good time. And we'll see you on stage tonight.
tickets. Everyone that has a blue or a purple ticket, we will be handing them out at the front of the stage. As soon as ICP is gone, we've got them already. So if you got a blue or a purple ticket, you will get a CD. All right, everybody with a ticket, make a single file line. <laughs> One person will lie. Like that's gonna happen. <laughs> Ah, this is fucking awesome!